Amy, my great white buffalo. Ever since I first laid eyes on you, I knew you were the one. And I would pray every day that God would make you mine. And now here we are on our wedding day. It's amazing to me how I can keep falling in love with you more and more each day. Your stunning beauty takes my breath away every time I see you. I can't begin to express the joy you have brought to my heart and into my life. You are truly a gift from God and I give thanks every day that you are a part of my life. You have made my life complete. I am so blessed to have such an astonishing woman like you to call my wife, and I'm so excited for our future together. Brent Daniel, I don't think I could ever put into words how blessed I am to be marrying you today. You are my best friend, my true love, my soulmate. Being with you has taught me the true meaning of love, and the love I have for you grows day by day. You are the type of hardworking, loving, godly man every girl dreams of marrying. You make me feel unconditionally loved every day, and I promise to always love you with all I have, even when sorting cows. Today is the first day of the rest of our lives together, and I'm so excited to become your wife. I love you so much. <laughs> We come here today to witness the union of this man and this woman in God-ordained marriage. A good marriage must be created. In a marriage, the little things are the big things. It's never too old to hold hands. It's remembering to say, I love you, at least once a day. It's never going to sleep angry. It's standing together to face the world. It's speaking words of appreciation and, and demonstrating gratitude thoughtful ways. It is having the capacity to forgive and to forget. It is giving each other atmosphere in which each can grow. Brent, will you have this woman to be your wife? I will. Look at her. <laughs> oh, I will. Amy, will you have this man? I don't need that. <laughs> I don't need that. Amy, will you have this man to be your husband? I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow, and with all that I am and all that I have, I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. The Son. And the Son. And the Holy Spirit. Kiss your bride. <laughs> <laughs>
I'll just say that I can't wait to spend the next 50, 60, hopefully 70 years fighting over which one of us the Colburns likes better. <laughs> so raise your glasses to one hell of a team right here. I love you both so much. <laughs> some hard times, and we've had some good, man. We've had some good times. And I'm just uh, very thankful for you, bro. I love you. <laughs> Woo. But when you marry Brent, you marry me. <laughs> I signed it already, so you can't go back. And I just, I think I can speak for all of us up here. We, uh, we appreciate you guys letting us be part of your day. And so if we can do a cheers to the new Wine Rise couple. As far as I'm concerned, you went from somebody I got introduced to, to I consider a good friend. And now I'm proud to call you son-in-law. And again, we're here for both of you and, and uh, I'd like to see you guys blossom to the next level. So, but raise your glasses to Brent and Amy and everybody else here. Look at everybody across the table. Thanks for enjoying this time for us, our family. You guys are great. To Brent and Amy. Yeah.